Hello, my loves. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Okay, so let's see what we have here today for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Um, so guys, we're going to go through some quick channeled messages. We're going to do some oracle cards, and then we're going to get into the reading, okay? So Aries, I feel here that there is a situation where <coughs> someone's being very pushy. <coughs> Excuse me, I don't know what is the deal with this cough. I have no idea. It's just like ridiculous. Um, it comes, it goes, it's just weird. Um, I feel like, Aries, there's somebody that's being very pushy here. This person is very controlling, very pushy, and I feel like they're trying to get you to do something and the fact that they're being so impatient and pushy is a red flag for you it's it's sparking your intuition and making you realize that <coughs> you should be not going you should not be going towards the situation so uh you're 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 noticing the red flags you're realizing here that this person is something wrong with their attitude the way they're asking you the way they're presenting themselves and you're realizing here i don't want to i don't want you i don't want this relationship i don't want to move towards this i don't want to do this i don't want to make this decision whatever the case may be you know what i'm saying it's somebody's attitude the impatience the controlling behavior you know it's just uh, the, uh, you know, maybe someone here is, you know, just uh, going into a rage, you know, it's just uh, very negative energy and you're like, uh, yeah, just the fact that you're acting that way does not make me want to do this, you know. So let's see what we have here for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please, Spirit. What messages do we have here today for Aries, please? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. So we have here, you are good enough, and the end of a tough cycle approaches. Aries, <coughs> you may have been in a situation where someone made you feel like you couldn't make it on your own, or that you wouldn't be good enough to do something on your own. Um, you're starting to realize here that what you have to offer is enough, and that you know you don't need to sit here and be put down by anybody. We've got community and healer of the ages. Um, Aries, I feel like you may turn to someone in your community for help, okay? Uh, could be a friend, the world card, something is definitely ending here. So you may be turning to a friend or, or you know, someone in your community here um, for help. Because someone here, you know, seems to have maybe hurt you or there's something that you need to heal from or recover from. Tell me about Aries, please. What messages do we have here for Aries, please? We've got angels of the four directions, and we've got great achievement and dark thoughts. So, <coughs> Aries, I feel like what's happening here is somebody is um, trying to achieve something with you, but your angels are trying to wake you up okay so you may start to find that you're having dark thoughts that you're having negative thoughts that you know like you're starting to question you know what i'm saying you're starting to question here and i feel that your that is your angels your guides here you know what i'm saying status quo and playing it safe i feel like you know some i feel like your angels and your guides are saying you know sit down for a minute play it safe and ask yourself what is this person up to do you understand so <clears throat> i feel here that your angels are guiding you to go towards your great achievement, not to, you know what I'm saying, make decisions for someone else to <coughs> achieve what they're trying to achieve. Tell me about Aries, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. Engagement ring. Engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, and union. So very strong promises, very strong commitment with this person. Um, with love call in the reverse, someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting go. This person wants your loyalty. They want your commitment. They want you to do everything you're supposed to do in a relationship. But this person does not show any love. This person is not a loving person. Okay, we've got stabbed in the back, heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, and shocking attack. I feel like you're about to find out here, Aries, that someone is betraying you. That someone is betraying you. Oh, boy. <coughs> 
And I feel like what's happening is because they're betraying you, they're trying to push you into making a decision before you find out about the betrayal. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, let's just say, let me give you an example. <coughs> You're in a solid relationship with this person, right? With the engagement ring. Let's just say you promised this person that you'd co-sign on a car for their birthday or something like that, right? But this person is either cheating on you or out to betray you in some way, shape, or form. They're out to take the car and leave you, let's just say. They're going to start becoming real pushy about going to a dealership for you to sign. I mean, real pushy, you know what I mean? And you're like, what's the big deal? Like, what? why all of a sudden we said we were doing this for your birthday, right? You're going to find they become real impatient, real pushy, real nasty, wanting to do this. But that's because they have a hidden agenda. <coughs> <coughs> this person has secrets. They've got something else going on. I'm so sorry about this cough. I don't know what to tell you. I haven't been coughing all day. I get on the reading um, and I, I just, I don't know, sometimes it happens. My throat chakra just gets all jammed up. Tell me about Aries, please. Tell me about Aries. We've got pay attention to the red flags. Pay attention to the red flags, Aries. Okay, and I feel like you see them loud and clear. Release your ex. It's the time has come to clear your energy. <coughs> Aries, there's either an ex in the mix or there is someone here that you have known for a long time and it is time to release this person, okay? Clarity, guidance, and love messages here for Aries, please. Clarity, guidance, and love messages for Aries, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages for Aries. Okay, so we've got the Five of Cups. We've got the King of Wands, so we've got the Five of Cups and the King of Wands, Leo Sag, Aries Energy. We've got the Moon card, Cancer Piscean Energy. Tell me more about Aries, please. And we've got uh, the Page of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra Energy. Okay, Five of Pentacles under the deck. So Aries, here it is, okay? There you are, King of Wands energy. I feel like you're going to have a lot of regret. You're going to be sorely disappointed in somebody. You're going to have a lot of sorrow over this. I feel like you're about to find out a hidden truth here. I feel like <coughs> if you dig for a little bit of information here, you're going to find out a truth. You're going to find out that, you know, someone here has been lying. With the Five of Pentacles here, I feel like um, somebody here has either been using you for money. Someone here has had a plan, okay? Someone here has had a plan all along. Either they were looking to leave you, either they were looking to leave you and they were trying to take as much from you as they can before they kicked you out or they, leaved you, they left you. Um... <coughs> Either way, it's a loss with the Five of Pentacles energy here. They were either trying to take money or take whatever they could, getting ready to leave you, okay? King of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. I feel like you're going to have regret here that you didn't protect yourself a little bit more or that you weren't a little bit smarter in seeing this coming, which you shouldn't do that, Aries, because, you know, I mean, listen, what, if you're in a committed relationship with somebody, you're supposed to trust them. It just sucks. You know, sometimes these things happen. With the Tower and the World card, I feel like something is coming to a close and it's going to come to a close so fast. Tell me about the King of Wands here for Aries, please. The Wheel of Fortune. The divine is on your side, Aries, okay? The divine is on your side. Um, yeah, I feel like you're moving on from this toxic person and they will face their own karma. So this truth coming to the forefront is the divine being on your side. Tell me about the moon card here for Aries. We've got the eight of swords. Somebody here was trying to trap you or bind you into some form of contract. This person was very selfish. They were planning on taking whatever they could from you and leaving you, okay? And with the five of wands and the seven of swords, I feel here <coughs> that someone here was uh, attempting to like sabotage a kind of, it's, it's almost like I'm getting like a planned fight was about to take place. Like something here was going to be planned. Like they were going to get what they needed, plan a fight with you and then dip type of thing. Tell me about the page of swords here for Aries, please. Page of swords for Aries, the seven of cups. You're about to find out the truth here that you have been living a lie. You've been living an illusion this whole time. Okay. But you're about to find out the truth. So let's see what we have here. 
clarity, guidance, and love messages for my beautiful Aries. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my beautiful Aries, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my beautiful Aries, please. What messages do we have here for Aries, please? <coughs> Three of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles. The Two of Cups. And the star card in the reverse under the deck, we've got the five of wands, okay? Um, I feel like, uh, yeah, someone here, a fight is definitely about to break out. Someone here is about to either get really jealous or angry that there's competition in the picture. Um, I feel that someone here put a lot of work in. I feel like someone put a lot of work into a connection and out of nowhere, you know what I'm saying? This person just pulls away and say, no, I don't want to do this anymore. Okay. Um, I feel that this is the person that's going to start the fight for no reason. And with the four of pentacles, this person is very selfish. They're going to take from you. And with the star card in the reverse, this person is just, they're just going to, uh, they're, they're going to fight in a way where there's no healing. They're going to tell you they don't want this anymore. I, I feel like they came across as, you know, they wanted to really work on things with you. They really wanted a future with you. They came across as this three of pentacles and two of cups that they really wanted a life with you. Um, and then they're just going to pull back. They just pull back out of nowhere. And it's just going to, you know, they get really like crazy with that five of cups. Uh, the judgment card, Sagittarian energy and the two of cups. <coughs> and the queen of swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. So this person made a decision to work on things with you. But with the two of cups and the queen of swords, I feel like this person had a plan. You know what I'm saying? They had some form of plan here. This person uh, may be taking from you and giving to a third party or taking from you to give to a third party. Tell me about the four of pentacles here. Page of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries, Energy, and the Lover's Card. I feel like this person started talking to a third party. I feel like there's someone else in the picture here. And with the Four of Pentacles, they're going to start to pull back. Yeah, I feel like you're even wondering if there's a third party. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't understand why I'm working on this. I'm feeling very unsure. Tell me about the Star card in the reverse, please. Yeah, Devil card in the reverse, Capricorn, Energy, and the Six of Swords. I feel like... I feel like you're going to end up leaving this person. I feel like you're going to end up drop, dropping the toxicity, moving out, moving away, leaving, leaving it behind. Tell me about the challenge here. Five of pentacles in the reverse. Tell me about the challenge here for Aries, please. The challenge for Aries, please. The challenge for Aries. King of pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, energy. Tell me about the challenge here. And the four of cups. The challenge here is Aries that... Um, yeah, I, I feel like what's going to happen here, Aries, is you're going to say, listen, I'm more than willing to stay in a, in a relationship with you, but I'm no longer giving money. I'm going broke. I can't do it anymore. And when you present that offer to this person, they're going to reject it. So I feel Aries, you're going to be like, listen, I, I can stay. I, I love you. I'll be in a relationship with you, but I'm going broke. I don't have any more money to give anymore. I, I can't do it anymore. Um, they're going to reject that offer. And that's when you're going to realize here, you know what I'm saying? Um, tell me about the outcome here for Aries. The Empress in the reverse, Aries, Taurus, Libra, Cancerian energy. The Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, and the Four of Wands. I feel that you have nothing left to give to this. You've got nothing left to give to this. You are no longer um, going to provide the stability. You're no longer moving towards this person. Eight of Swords, you know something isn't right. You know something isn't right, okay? Now, you may be, I feel like you were providing stability for this person. You were providing stability. Give me one on this Four of Wands energy, please. Um, Nine of Cups in the reverse and the Six of Swords in the reverse. Um, I feel 
like you're you're realizing here that this isn't what you want you're very unhappy six of swords in the reverse you're returning somewhere you're returning to someone's home you're returning somewhere um Yeah, I feel like you're returning somewhere. I feel like with the nine of cups in the reverse, this, you know, it's, you're going to be unhappy. You know, Aries, it's going to hurt. I'm not saying that it's not going to hurt, but you are going to be going back to, to your, either you live with your family or something. You're going to be going back to what you know to be stable. Okay. Uh, back to square one, basically. Okay. I love you guys. Bye.